What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Chill, where every single week I Graham Jesus and Matthews break down all the original content that I watch on the WWE Network. Um, I just recently talked about the Fashion Files, the Cold Case Unit, as aired on the network on Christmas Eve. Today we're talking Xavier's RK Challenge, featuring a member of the New Day, Xavier Woods, the master of all things video games. Um, this was filmed quite a while ago. I know Xavier mentioned it on either some podcast or on his YouTube channel. He mentioned it somewhere. I think it was on Table for Three with Zack Ryder and Matt Hardy, like the social media episode. I'm almost positive that's where it originally was brought up, now that I think about it. That was a few months ago, so this was filmed a long time ago. I think Xavier originally said on that show that this arcade challenge show was something he originally pitched for the network like years ago when the network first launched, but Xavier wasn't exactly in the position in the company that he is today, and the company said, no, no one would care, no one would like it, why would we do that? And now that his Up, Up, Down, Down channel has become as big as it has, over a million subscribers and so much more, that they figured, okay, we'll give it a shot. So they filmed the special for the network. It kind of seemed like something you would see on Up, Up, Down, Down. So if you like the Up, Up, Down, Down channel and the series and blah, 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 then you'll probably enjoy this video as well. Um, like I said, it's called Xavier's Arcade Challenge, where he recaps the history of arcades, mentions a few barcades across America, including one in New Haven, Connecticut, which I know exists. I've never been, but I've heard about it. Um, yeah, he talks a few about those. He ends up going to the one in Philadelphia to play games with uh, fans. And this must have been a planned thing, because there were fans there that were wearing New Day merchandise. And you don't just see that in every day, like, walking down the street. So I'm sure this was a planned event at this barcade in Philly, probably around the time of the Royal Rumble, if I had to take a guess, because they were in the Philly area, which I was as well, for Royal Rumble weekend about a year ago, so I'm sure, I'm, I'm almost positive that's when this was filmed. Um, but he interviews the owner, talks about the history of the establishment before playing the games with the patrons in, the, um, in attendance that night. He recommends getting the tacos and talks about how it's craft beer focused, and then he starts playing the games, including Speed Racer, and he wins. He plays Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which he also wins. Plays X-Men, which I'm not positive that he wins, but I'm almost certain that he wins. And then he plays Mortal Kombat to finish it off, and he wins that too. And then the big game, or he talks about play choice, I don't know exactly what that is, but he talks about the history of it, how he owns one, AJ Styles owns one. I think he was the one that owned it, not Xavier, but he talks about that. And then the big game of the night was NBA Jam, which is apparently his jam, no pun intended, and he wins that too after a close call to fans. So, um, again, it's this episode really just consists of him playing video games, so if you're into that type of thing, if you like Up, Up, Down, Down, this show is for you. Otherwise, you really might not get much out of it. It's entertaining for the time allotted. It's only about 10 to 15 minutes, but beyond that, there's really nothing truly compelling here. Um, and maybe we'll see if they do more episodes again, like with Fashion Files and The Kitchen Smackdown. It feels more like a YouTube show than it does like a network special. I don't know if I would have put any of this stuff on the network. I would have saved it for the YouTube channel like Game Night. Game Night's a perfect example of something that I think is perfect for WWE's YouTube channel because it usually doesn't exceed six or seven minutes. Um, I would put this on the YouTube channel or on Xavier Woods' YouTube channel, but nonetheless, it was a nice little special, so be sure to check it out on the network entitled Xavier's Arcade Challenge. Also coming up here on the channel in the coming days, my reviews of WWE Kitchen Smackdown, as well as Botch Club, all of which aired back on Christmas Eve on the WWE Network, as well as my review of the latest episode of The Edge and Christian Show, as aired after Raw. Um, this past week. So with all that being said, guys, have a very happy new year. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'm Graham Jesus and Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.